do you also see that in our Indian society, in our Indian fabric, ordinarily, wealth does not last for more than the third generation. So the first generation builds whatever they, they need to build, whatever businesses need to be built, whatever empires need to be built, happen in the first generation. The next generation pretty much enjoys whatever has been built. They enjoy the money, they enjoy the niceties, they enjoy the luxuries. The third generation have absolutely no value for it because they were born with a silver spoon in their mouth. Everything was there. They did not have to struggle for anything. They had enough money. They had a great house to live in. They had great cars to move in. They've got everything that they demanded which was served to them on a platter. And as a result of which, most of the times the third generation that we see don't really value what they have. And as a result of which, one way or the other, because they've not earned it, because they didn't have any method of earning it, because they were not forced to earn it, and because they were gifted all of that for free, and did not have to move even a tiny little finger to even think about how all this was created, what happens is very often it gets squandered off. Wrong decisions are taken, crazy investments are done, crazy lifestyles are financed, crazy lifestyles are supported by sale of assets, and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, the third generation pretty much finishes most of the money that was created by the first and the second generation.